welcome viewers to another episode on the restoration of vintage radios the introductory portion of this video was recorded almost uh, two years ago and I couldn't complete it for lack of time and uh, availability of some spare parts but now it's complete and I hope you like this video so this is the Nord Mende uh, Galaxy Mesa 6606 it's a radio which is uh, made in Germany and it's a 1973 model so as of today it's about 47 years old approximately uh, well it's a very well constructed radio in fact I was just trying to take this apart uh, but before that you know you have the band spreads which is the short wave one two three four five six and uh, you have the FM band, you have the medium wave band and of course you have the long wave and the on-off switch over here. The aerial, the antenna of course is broken here. You have this tile cord does function. So the FM and uh, the, the for the AM and for the short wave band you have a separate uh, dial here. But then there is some problem uh, regarding the thing and that has to be opened and found out. So, uh, this radio doesn't seem to be in a very good condition at least from outside so I've opened all these screws. These screws are pretty long actually, you know, just like a huge long nail almost uh, uh, 3 inches for that matter. So roughly about 2.5 inches. So uh, these are the screws, perhaps one of the longest ones which I've seen. Anyway, opening this is pretty easy that way. Uh, and this may, it's a, it's a battery come mains uh, radio and uh, so we have the front portion which just comes apart uh, after opening this uh, the knobs of course the knobs are pretty decent you have uh, a little lever attached to it and then you know pretty nice pretty and cute and they're all metallic knobs So the front portion is easy to remove. And you have a protective glass screen. There's a lot of muck in this. In fact, it's messed up my table. So I'll be cleaning this and, you know, uh, again coming back to you. And then you have, you have a beautiful dial and the whole thing is neatly but the speaker here is damaged it's by five by three speaker but i think it can be repaired uh, the front comes off easily and so also does the uh, there's a lot of muck inside this radio as you can see but it seems to be beautifully constructed it's it's really nice to look at and everything seems to be pretty well intact. Uh, pieces of foam which have got rotted over the years. And uh, oh, and uh, see, there is a copper screen for the shield, rather, a magnetic shield for the speaker as well. And uh, and this is made out of copper. It, it's, it's the first time I've seen something like this. They have beautiful band switches. I mean, the older types of were like this. And, uh, and that appears to be the very variable capacitor. So there it is. I'll clean all this up and, uh, and then I'll come back to you. I'm going to show you some pictures of the components which are there on the main board and the type of wiring which is there. And these German radios are pretty complex and they're not very easy to service as compared to Japanese ones. Well, this is my personal view. Their technology is marvelous, built upon of course European technology and much like Grundisch. Saba, Telefunken, uh, Nordmende, I think they're all very, very 
difficult to service. A performance is excellent, like I said, but then, as you can see from the photographs, going to be a difficult time ahead. Here you can see there's a small compartment which houses the power transformer separately. And uh, this transformer has already been replaced, so it's not the original. So I'll see whether this transformer is getting heated up also. It could be because uh, these cheap transformers do get heated up and that's, uh, that's a problem. Now in the restoration process, I always begin by recapping the electrolytics and uh, here I had to carefully hold the main board while removing the older capacitors and replacing them. And uh, it, it becomes a little tricky at times, but then I succeeded in replacing most of the electrolytics. This probably was the most tricky part of the restoration and that's the replacement of the dial cord. Now there is a diagram in the service notes. Because it's in black and white, it's a little difficult to really follow the path of the string. But then ultimately I did manage to find it out and um, I've simplified it over here in the diagrams. In these older sets, finding replacements of defective components is always difficult and in this set the volume control was defective and finding a replacement, especially an original one, was extremely difficult so I decided to open uh, this particular volume control. I cleaned it from the inside using isopropyl alcohol and added a drop of switch cleaning oil and it functioned very well. Now there are 8 screws uh, for holding the front and uh, back cover together and out of them 4 were missing and uh, so therefore I had to improvise by cutting threads on nails of uh, same diameter and uh, length. <laughs> और मौसम का तकाजा है मैं भी बता ही देती हूँ कि आम का पिना बनता है कैसे क्या चाहिए दो तीन आकार की जो कच्चे आम होते हैं या कैरी होती है वो ले लीजिए साथ में आप लीजिए दो छोटे चम्मच भुना जीरा पाउडर एक चौथाई छोटी चम्मच काली मिर्च सौ से डेढ़ सौ ग्राम चम्मच नाची पत्तियाँ और जिस स्वाद के अनुसार आप इसमें काला नमक चांदी की डाल पर सोने का मार सलमान खान का गाना आया था करोड़ों बरस पहले मैं सचिन को बताता हूँ बढ़ता कॉफी में इसको यूज़ करेगा सुपर इट्स 93.5 रेड एफएम पर स्वाति और रॉकी के साथ हैं आप बहुत सोशल से आप हैं बट पुराने गाने क्यों आप नए गाने जो आज की ज़माने I hope you like this video. Do see my other videos on vintage radios and electronics. Thanks for watching.